I think I got all the buttons pushed. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Howdy, howdy. A few minutes early. Had to make sure things were working. <laughs> we'll let people uh, wander on in. While I check some other things. Alright, all the chat commands are working. Either blowed up. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I need to check? I think we're all set. Um, is it? Yeah, we got a few more minutes. What to do, what to do. I guess I'll uh, remind myself of what's going on in my vehicle. Oh, let's see. So, we're about to head into the uh, Transcoast Logistics West from Eastford. <laughs> it's West from Eastford. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, ah, I remember we killed some things. There's still plenty in the parking lot. How am I going to go about this? Hmm. Have to think about it. Gear-wise, in good shape. Right at the edge of our weight status, or our weight max. Hmm. Still can't believe... My golf bag hasn't taken a single hit yet. <laughs> I should get like an achievement award for that alone. That all by itself. What do we got? 436 kills. I mean, not a huge amount, but still. We've got two golf bags. We've been wearing them the entire time. <laughs> they haven't taken a single hit. Or a single piece of damage, I should say. That's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, let's see. Let's see. New challenge today? Maybe. Depends. You think I'm gonna die? If I'm gonna, if I die, yes, we'll have a new challenge today. <laughs> if I don't die, I don't know how long it's gonna take us to explore this place. I've been keeping myself willfully ignorant, other than a really brief teleport in. Uh, I don't know how many challenges, a challenge or so back when it was first introduced. Uh, at some point, I teleported into one, just kind of pointed out. Other than that, uh, I don't know much about them. I know there's there, there's bullet throwers in there. Quite a few of them. But um, beyond that, I don't know. Unknown territory for me. So, we'll see how it goes. Hey there, big lad. Started getting into CDDA because of me. Just survived my past, my first two weeks. Hey now, don't blame me for your poor life decisions. <laughs> I take I take no credit. All right, wait, wait. No, I take no blame. I take no blame for that. <laughs> Best way to explore new buildings without spoilers? 0% item rate, no monsters? I don't know. I just jump into my test world where I've debugged my character with immunity and all the other bonuses and then just teleport around. That's how I'd do it. Without spoilers, though. Yeah, that's pretty spoilery. Yeah, so people joining in. We're, we're at the end of this particular adventure. We have completed the bookmobile, officially. The bookmobile challenge is done. We're at the stage where I'm going to get killed. And we're going to do so by, uh, you know, visiting the TCL, Transcoast Logistics. It's a new building. A new uh, location. It's part of the... Updating of the lab system. Underneath this structure is a lab system using the new modular lab system. And um, hopefully we can get down into it. But we gotta we gotta be careful. It's pretty dangerous. It's gonna be dangerous in some ways and not as dangerous in others. I mean, research facility, you got the big problem of all of the interdimensional portals and nasties and, and, and stuff. I don't think we have any of that here. I don't know for sure, but I don't think we have any of that. So it should just be robots and uh, the regular zombies to deal with. 
We'll find out. That's part of the adventure here. It'll be the first time I've had a chance to actually visit one with a character during one of the live streams. Not the best character to do it with. <laughs> our, uh, our Barney the Twelfth, our bookworm. But um, he's, he's pretty stacked up. He's about as stacked up as I'll reasonably be able to get him in regards to um, combat skills and gear. So we're going in either way. But we did complete the, uh, the bookmobile portion. We have visited three refugee centers and dropped off, loaded up with books, uh, e-ink tablet PCs. So that part's all done. And uh, so we're off to the final part. We're either going to get killed in here, or we're going to explore the whole thing, and then I'll just, we'll, we'll just call it good. <laughs> I do have a, another adventure ready to go, just in case we die early. So if I walk into the parking lot and immediately get sniped by a turret, then I've, I've got a backup ready to go. So that's the plan. I started up a little bit early today because I needed to make sure that uh, all my settings were working properly uh, after Twitch's really 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 big old oopsie <laughs> really big oopsie had a lot of uh password changing and account setting up changing and stuff to uh to take care of <laughs> so i had to make sure everything was working again it looks like we're doing just fine uh let's see what else to talk about uh, i am up to date with the most recent experimental build as of about 10 minutes ago so whatever that one was so we're good to go got a really glorious looking error message on on load up but uh didn't look like anything that was going to affect the gameplay so i just ignored past it and uh, we'll see if it does anything um i didn't notice anything super huge in the patch notes i just scanned through them really quickly uh nothing jumped out at me there's there's a few minor things here and there but nothing too too magnificent that I think bears me repeating or, or talking about. Uh, yeah. So, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, catch back up with chat here. Do, do, do. Yeah, I, I don't enjoy skitterbots, but they're not the ones that bother me. It's the taser hacks. The taser hacks are the ones that I think are ridiculous. Those bother me. I hate those things. Skitterbots, known quantity. You can deal with them. Taser hacks, oh my god. So magnificently horrible. <laughs> I hate those things. I hate those things. So, hopefully we don't run into too many of those. Okay, I think we're far enough. Let's uh, let's look at the character one more time, and then we'll get started. So Barney the Twelfth. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do much else with him. I got the things accomplished that I wanted to accomplish. I now have a pretty good understanding of the theoretical practical system, the Rust system. Hasn't really been affecting me much, but I mean we're on a kind of a shorter time frame with my kinds of challenges. Um, but I think it works well. I, I think they've got a pretty cool system going with it. I'm still a little confused if it's intentional that practicing just basically insta-levels you. That seems a little odd to me, but I don't know if it's intentional or not. I haven't seen or read anything about it from anybody else, so it just seems weird. You, you read the book, and then you practice like one item for five minutes, and you gain all those practical levels. It, it's just weird. I, I, I mean, if you're going to do it that way, what's the whole point of separating them? Why not just go back to the book system? It just seems weird. Uh, but, I mean, maybe it's a balancing thing or there is something weird in my game. I don't know. Uh, but I like the ideas behind it. It, it functions pretty well as a, a new implementation of that whole system. And uh, it allows them to do some more interesting things and give them options for character starts uh, because of the whole um, perk and training system where you can start with XP already uh, in a particular skill. So it, it's interesting. Um, so, yeah, the theoretical knowledge, practical knowledge, Rust, all that uh, we got figured out. We got to play with the e-ink tablet PCs, and that seems to work fine. I don't know. It's one of those things where I want to make it. I want to make you guys aware that these are possibilities, but I'd never use it myself. I, I just could care less. Um, it's cool and all, but it's extra time and button presses that really have no effect on me in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I've never ever had a problem just toting my books around in my Humvee or whatever vehicle I'm using anyway. So 
Um, it's cool. I'm glad I was able to show people and I'll never use it again. So <laughs> there, that, that's pretty much that. Uh, what else was there? I think that was the main points of the challenge. Come on, challenge message. I typed it correctly. <laughs> Did somebody? I can't be already. Challenge. There we go. What the hell, game? Uh, yeah. Show. Get books. Yeah, I think that covers it. So, that's yeah, good fun. We had a good time. The map didn't didn't mess with me too hard. We got kind of lucky on our third refugee center, which was I forget exactly where down. Yeah, we're somewhere. I think was it that one? I don't think it was that one. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but now we're hanging out at the Transcoast Logistics. This is where we started our work. We we actually worked at the Transcoast Logistics. We were a trucker for that facility. So we do have. Uh, I think I put it away. I haven't been carrying it with me. Um, what category is that under? Uh, is it a badge? Yeah, there it is. Let's grab our badge. Before I forget. So we do have a transport freight employee badge. Employee badge for the freight hauler. The reverse side describes protocol for using it. This could grant one-time access to a transport freight card reader. So I'm assuming there's a trucker's entrance. <laughs> and uh, we'll be able to use the card reader to at least open that that door. And then from there, who knows what we're going to need to do. That's that's the only thing I know. So we, uh, we did a little bit of clearance on the... The front end on the, on the parking lot here at the end of last episode and that's about it i mean we pulled up we shot some things we killed a few we backed off and we watched a dire wolf charge in and kill a bunch and then we backed up and that's where we're at so there you go you're all caught up um we are rocking what are we rocking i do have my plate armor on we've got reinforced plate armor always good to have uh the m4 not much else, but notice we're right at our weight limit. So I'm either going to have to ditch some things or just, you know, not pick anything up. That's, that's sometimes even better solution. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do some of that kind of stuff. Let's ditch, since we're probably not going to go anywhere from here. Let's ditch the binoculars. And I'm done with the marker. I might, might need the crowbar. Shouldn't need that. I'm going to need to bring more grenades, which is more weight. Oh. Uh, we're going to need to also bring a bunch of ammo. I'll probably just clear the parking lot and then we'll queue up out in front of the parking lot. Yeah, I'm not really carrying much else that's weighing much. It's all it's all my, my clothing and armor. There's not that much I can drop right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the bifocal sunglasses. We'll hydrate. Acidic zombie has worked its way out the front. Whoa, hey guys. Why, what, what exactly attracted them over here? How exactly... <laughs> I I really really actually want to know how did these guys what what drew them out this way there's no animals there's no noise there's no there's no anything that should have drawn these guys out around like that oh there is a bee right, you're correct I didn't notice the bee where are you bee oh that would have been it I didn't notice the bee set up over here so they moved up, saw the bee, moved out. Then they saw me being closer, and they've now come my direction. All right, that's fine. No problem. Boomer Glutton. If you haven't seen the Boomer Glutton, he is glorious. He is glorious. That guy's awesome. Uh, the stimulant module? Yeah, there's two different versions. It's a military um, drug delivery system. So RX-11 stimulant delivery system. This is basically a combat drug cocktail. So if we uh, take a look at it, Riv, this is, uh, th there's two different versions. They're RivTech, by the way. So they're the future tech company. RivTech RX-11 stimulant delivery system. Auto-injector system works on the user's body, or worn on the user's body. 
Simple press of his activator injects powerful chemical stimulants into the bloodstream without using a needle. So this one's combat drugs. The other version is a healing one. It gives you, it, it literally heals you. Um, but I haven't found the other one. So we've got two uses of the RX-11 stimulant module. It's fairly rare. Not, not uncommonly so. Run into them fairly often if you're getting into higher end locations. I don't remember. I don't think you, I don't. I don't remember ever actually wearing it. <laughs> I, I don't believe you have to actually wear it. I think it's activatable without wearing it. the The difference, though, is if you're wearing it, it, you don't have to dig it out of your backpack, so it doesn't cost you extra movement or action points to activate it. Anything you've got stored in your backpack when you try to activate it, the game knows where it's at, and it adds a whole bunch of movement action points to the action. So if you have like your flashlight in your backpack and you say to, to activate a flashlight to look around, well, it actually takes it out of your backpack, then activates it, and so on. So, worn items, which is why I wear a mining helmet, because I don't suffer those time delays to turn a light on and off, which is really critical when you're dealing in dark areas or, or areas with turrets, so you can flip the, uh, flip the light on and off uh, without suffering all those extra action points. So, same thing here. I'm pretty sure you can activate this. I don't I don't find them and use them all that often, so I might be remembering wrong. Um, but that's usually how it works. We'll see. Uh, let's see. I need to deal with these guys. I think I will just... I think I'll just apply a liberal dose of um, 50 caliber slug. We'll see how many more we attract. Problem solved. And I'll see how many more come around that corner. I need that bee to go away. <laughs> the bee's going to annoy me. He's just going to sit there and he's going to draw enemies across and they're going to come down after me. If I back up a little bit further, it won't be as much of a problem. See? See? Look at that. Another zombie. If we back up a little further, he'll still be closer and they'll go after him instead of me. Whoops! Whoops. Well, hi there, guys coming up behind me. That's right. I was being quiet, so I wouldn't attract the crowd over at the hotel. <laughs> <sighs> now I got to deal with them, too. All right. How many more rounds we got? 33 more rounds in the current belt of ammo for the 50 cal. And then I've got one backup belt with about 70 something. So I, I'm not going anywhere from here. Once I clear the local area in the parking lot, we're pretty much done with the 50 cal for the most part. So I think we'll be okay. So, let's go ahead and take out the Headless Horror. I'm going to be so deaf. I am going to be extra double deaf. Let's just make a big gibbity mess. Alright, so to the north, the zombie should have gone after the bee. Hey there, zombie. You're still sitting there? What, did the bee decide to go away? Eh, they're just kind of... There they go. I think they're going for him now. Hmm. I should probably drive up there and run him over. Yeah, let's do that. Here's the first group. What I don't want to do is slide right into those trees. Hey, Mr. B. Now the bee's angry, which is okay as long as he chases them into the parking lot. So we'll back off. A little further in case the bee gets ornery. He killed that zombie, and he sees no other enemies. Huh. The hell? That was an open... That was an open closed door noise. I distinctly heard an open closed door noise. <laughs> Freak me out. I thought I I missed somebody behind me crawling into my vehicle. Huh. Weird. Get on in there, B. Go go take care of some more B business and whoops, what the hell? Fake special bike shop one. Why the hell are you telling me about that now? <laughs> what, what the I'm just sitting here. Why why did that become a thing out here in the middle of the forest? 
Well, there is, I think this is all parking lot, but I haven't seen this corner yet. There might be, I don't know, maybe a, a, an office or something down here. That'd be a little weird, but I don't know. I distinctly heard an open, closed door sound effect, but whatever. I gotta get out and pulp some corpses too, actually. I forgot about that. Oh no, we're oh, not letting hi, you yo. close. Hey there, nice roll. Thank you very much for the uh, resub. Yeah, I need to get out and do some pulping. Some of the stuff I've just gibbed, I've splattered all over the place, so it doesn't need pulping, but... Hmm. Hey there, pupating zombie. Oh, you're going to come all the way over here, are you? Hey there, zombie master. All right, you got to die. Where's the pupating? Hopefully this is about the last one we have to deal with. Come on now. <laughs> Not a good plan. <sighs> I can't even get enough time to get this acid corpse pulped. This will be what the fifth time we've tried. Hey, we finally got it. That's all the southern zombies taken care of. That bee is still hanging out to the north. The bee is going to be angry because it got hit. It says fleeing, but I think he's going to come at me when I get close. See, that one's mangled. Is mangled going to get up again? Didn't started moving yet. Yep, he would have gotten up. Hmm. Mr. B. What do we see? Oh, we've got... Crawling... These guys are so far away, I don't know if they'll be able to see me. I might be able to get the, um, the barrier down. Maybe. I might be able to get close enough to get the barrier down. Actually, let's give it a try.
All right, it's all stuff inside the gate. So we're clear outside the gate. Um, what am I going to use to break this thing down? Baseball bat, my crowbar. I think I'll just use my crowbar, unless I do damage to it. Eight strength. Yeah, this isn't working too well. Hmm. Yeah, let's leave the door open. How long does this take? Probably too long. Can't deconstruct it? Can't deconstruct it. Well, okay then. Whoops. Hey there, skeletal dog. Um, doo -doo -doo. A crowbar is not terrible against a skeletal dog. It's just slow. It's not actually slow either. 87, huh? Minus one is not great. Let's see if we can get rid of the backpack before he gets to me. Well, that was quick. All right. I was expecting I was expecting him to actually be on me, trying to nibble on me before I got the backpack off. That's more like it. There we go. A little weight in the vehicle. Die, you stupid piece of fence. Well, that one must be reinforced. <laughs> Come on. All right, we'll just leave it the way it is. It's wide enough. Okay, let's head on in. See what we're looking at. Uh, there should be a bit of a crowd down south, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move in and probably back out again once I get a good look around. Unless they're stacked right against these walls, there's not much in here at the moment. There they come. Uh, a lot less than I thought. Alright, we'll just keep using the 50 cal to do a clearance out here then. Actually, I don't even need the 50 cal. What do we got? Slavering Biter I'd rather not tangle with. Other than that, I'm not afraid of really any of this stuff. Hmm. Um. Yeah, now we got a few things coming out the door. everything I saw they've gravitated to the west doesn't look like it wonder if this is the card reader for my that's a truck trailer that's a vehicle oh all right is that gonna be the entrance for the trucks right there Wow, parking lot's empty. Other than crawling zone. How the? <laughs> 
I just, I literally pivoted all the way through that guy. <laughs> okay, game. Okay. <laughs> it was weird. Uh, let's get the katana back out. That was weird. <laughs> Somebody was dropping some. Hurts are having a good time. Okay, I think that is everything. Nope. Chromancer. See, it's not showing the... I'm not getting the indicators on some things. I noticed it earlier. There ain't no... Oh, never mind. I am getting an indicator. Don't mind me. So, what killed these guys? <laughs> now I'm getting a little worried. Where the hell did you come from? Love it. He's getting hidden by the uh, vending machine. There's a caustic soldier right there. I can't see him because of the vending machine graphic. The only reason I know he was there was because I saw the little dot 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 of him trying to shoot me with his acid. Okay, super zombies that can't work doors. We'll let you stay there for the moment. Oh, we got turrets right there, do we? Hmm. And let's stop running. I think he's still trying to shoot me through the window. They're hitting the uh, vending machines, which is making the alarm go off. That is a broken card reader, huh? I don't see one to the south. I don't see one to the north. Uh, there is one to the north right there. All right, yes, that's getting very annoying. Very, very annoying. What the hell? They shouldn't have known where I was. He, that guy shouldn't have been shooting at me since he couldn't see me. But he was shooting continuously into the vending machines. So why exactly did they know I was there? There we go. Freight hauler access card reader. That's the one we've got the uh, the card for. Well, the, the alarm noises are from the vending machines, so I don't know how he could have been shooting the turret and hitting the vending machine. Uh, I don't technically need to go kill them. I don't plan on going in that way, but... I wonder if the 50 cal will go through the glass. Let's find out. Inquiring minds want to know. The answer is yes. <laughs> now we've got a nice quiet area. I could also take these interior... I could take that door down with the turret as well. I think there's a... Or I, I could use my 50 cal to take that door down. But I think there's a turret on the inside of that. I could actually take that door down as well. Yes, it is the 50 cal lockpick. 
my favoriteest. It was the turret shooting at him and just smashing the machine. Well, vending machines shouldn't be standing up to turret fire. <laughs> All right, so we've conquered the parking lot. At least we got that done. Um, uh, the game is bugging out. Hmm. Let me look around the, the parking lot a little bit more. Yeah, I did see in the notes messages about the roads getting fixed. I just didn't know if uh, my road was fixed. Yeah, it looks pretty fixed. Or if I would have to move to new areas before it would show up. Lighting related. And we'll uh, take another look around. So, let's see the opening here. Oh, I knew there was some kind of an entrance down here just because of the way they appeared and so on. So that, that doesn't concern me. I'm not going in through the front here initially. I'm going to check this section out first. And depending on what we find there, I may come back. But never walk in the front door when a side door is available. Or a secret door, preferably. We have other options. <clears throat> I, could, uh, I could pull up here and, you know, use the 50 cal to make an entrance right up here. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'll, I'll make an entrance right where there's a turret facing me. Let's give it a try. I'm not sure what these walls are made out of. What are you made out of, impassable concrete wall? <laughs> Here, we'll get a little closer. So, how tough are you? Pretty tough, apparently. That's a, that's a pretty good wall. All right, no 50 cal doors for me. <laughs> I could try ramming it with the vehicle. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we got we got jackhammer. I'm not uh, spoiled for options. Yeah, let's try jackhammer next before we ram. Oops. Hey, Jack. Uh-oh. Where's my jackhammer? I did get a jackhammer, right? Jackhammer, right there. Oh, got it set wrong. That's why. Do it right here in this spot. Well, that's kind of ominous. How long is this taking? Oh, time's just going really, really slow. <laughs> We're going to see if we can run some uh, turrets out of 1,600 rounds of ammo <laughs> before we get to them. Just gonna be a solid wall with a 
It's like a triple thick solid wall. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, kind of figured. Right, let's let's go ahead and ignore <laughs> the or let's uh explore the places we already have access to. We'll get creative with other entrances some other time. Alright, so let's see. I think the best thing to do would be to park south of the door, walk up, stand on the bottom corner, activate it so that it opens, see if anything immediately is dangerous, peek it. And then I can run back into the car if I have to, or, or adjust. So. Whoa! Hey there, M249 Autonomous Crows. That's saying hostile detected. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you got a view on me from there, do you? That is ballistic glass, through more ballistic glass, through more ballistic, or through laminated glass. Okay. <laughs> so, definitely somebody inside. Let's park. Yeah, this way will be fine. Let go of the controls. We're going to leave it running. I'm going to switch to the M4. I'm going to remember to drop the jackhammer. <laughs> the hell? Wait a minute. Hmm. Must have looked after I had tagged it for dropping. I didn't see my weight change. Speed 91. Pain and heat. Yeah, we're running a little warm on spring day 81. Torso, arms, and legs. That's going to be the armor... Let's have a uh, tramadol. Have a tramadol. I don't think I'm wearing much I can ditch. Yes, technically I don't need the pants. That just fixed my legs. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much just wearing plate armor and elbow pads. I uh, so I'm just gonna have to live with it. And insight immediately. Okay, so a few minor zombies, including a pupating. He could go boom any second. Yep. Woo, just in time. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Now, there won't be any turrets in there because the turrets would have shot the uh, the zombies. How many rounds we got left? Six. One, two, three, four. Four enemies, six shots. Sounds good. Well, except for when you hit the wall instead of the zombie. Okay, now we're deaf again. Hmm. Turn on safe mode. Oof, yeah, time's moving slow. All right, all the corpses are taken care of. Flip on our mining helmets. So, we got another door. We got a closed wood door into the office area and there be turrets. 
go ahead and bring the vehicle in. Yellow zone card reader. Houseboat. What the hell? You open the closed counter counter gate? <laughs> hey look, there's an open counter gate. <laughs> I had no idea such things existed. Huh. Interesting. A file. So that's not going to help me any. Looks like a card right there, kind of. A green zone badge. We'll take it. The toilette. And a bed. Alright, so it's just a little rest area. So we gotta go through one of these two. Or you know, back in through the front, which I'm loath to do. Um, hey, look, a green zone card reader. All right. So we've got, the, I wonder, is that preset? Do you always get a pass here that's going to open the second door? Or was that just tremendous luck? I, I, I'm more inclined to believe that's preset generation. Let me back up through chat. I've been uh, pretty focused on the new place. <laughs> Saw that they nerfed jackhammers. They did. Gas jackhammers specifically. Gas jackhammers got uh, their number of usages per full tank vastly vastly reduced from 40 down to three or four or five i forget the exact number got shot by one of those in those conditions well the deal is depending on the caliber of round that the turret's firing it gets less damage Damage gets reduced when it passes through these various glasses. So ballistic glass is going to reduce the damage heavily. The next ballistic glass will also do that. So you could probably take some shots when it's passing through the ballistic glass like that from light rounds. Light being 223-556. Two, two, three, five, five, uh, 308762, higher base damage. More damage will hit you when it goes through the glass. And 50 cal, forget about it. <laughs> what glass? <laughs> Just going through chat, catching up. No, I don't want the full spoiler. I got to admit, gas jammer, jackhammers were OP. I don't know. I always considered electric jackhammers UP. <laughs> I thought uh, that was the, the orientation. Gas jackhammer, or electric gas... <laughs> Electric jackhammers sucked, and gas jackhammers were good. That's how I thought about it. Uh, my movement is a little impeded with my slowdown and my move cost and my obesity and a bunch of effects, so I'm not sure. It said 250. So, it's a bit much. <laughs> 170. Oh, that's hilarious. So I can move here for 176, but if I use the gate, it's 250. <laughs> uh, that's great. That's great. 
I believe lasers do ignore gas, but or glass, but I haven't tested it. All right, um, this is not a good positioning for opening this door. I don't want my retreat path to be where I have to retreat this way if there's turrets or something over here. So I'm going to relocate the vehicle a bit. See how far we can get our beloved Humvee into the actual garage. Whoops, nope, not like that. This will do. Well, hey there, thin smoke. You wanna, you wanna dissipate? No. Ooh, time is going so slow. Nothing's happening. <laughs> it went so slow. Barrel human. So again, if there were turrets in that area, they would be getting shot right now, so... Uh, nothing too scary. Big open area. So yeah, I, I just picked the wrong spot. I bet these walls over here might be one thick. It could still be two or three thick on the exterior. I don't know for sure yet, but... Uh... Alright, I think it's time to get back in the vehicle. Back up. Reload the 50 cal and do some more clearance. Other direction. Uh oh. Well, I guess we'll do it the other way. Oops. Uh oh. Ran out of bullets. Let's not take, not take any chances. Whoops. Make sure I'm not in line of sight of any of those big nasty things. All right, give me a, uh, oops, actually. Damn it! Why they gotta bump off the bumpers like that? GM security drone. GM security drone has a camera and a speaker. Uh, no taser. No no thermonuclear grenade launcher. Hmm. Security drones. Three security drones. That's as far that way we can go. Either Mr. Tech. A hand jack. And <laughs> so many more drones. Hmm.
Well, I don't know if I want to try to 50 cal them. I don't know if they're worth it. They're not coming after me. Six security drones, and that's it, huh? Where are we at in the facility? We're actually on the back side of the facility. So, it probably comes all the way down and wraps around to this side. And then the central complex here, somewhere in here, there's going to be stairs down, I'm guessing. Hmm. I don't think I have enough... Are there vehicles? There are vehicles. All right, so we'll be able to get gas out of the vehicles out front for the jackhammer if I want to go uh, exploring. Yeah, let's go ahead and hop out. Switch back to the M4. Baseball bat. At least 50 cal's pulping things for me. Wow. That's kind of nice. A UPS. Guess I should look. Reset. So, what do we got? Storage battery case, motor oil, forklift, and a golf cart. We're tooling around in the warehouse. Force glass with shutters. Remember there was, yeah, there's a forklift here. If I can get it out of the way, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, we actually have enough space to get the Humvee past it on the left side here. Hmm. All right, let's go. Um, Venga bus is too heavy for its engines, really. Um, <laughs> I have gas. Weird. Not sure how it managed to get into that state. Usually you see that when uh, you run out of run out of gas. Elevator. Powerless controls. Nope. Yellow zone. Um, green zone. That one we can open. Same procedure as before. We'll get the car out of the direct line of sight. I didn't make that mess. What are we looking at here? Necromancer. Zombie. Hmm. Ah, two, two, three belt linkage. Okay, but where's the thing that was firing that? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Well, there's the turret, but how the hell do the linkages get to the other corner? This must be like the vehicle lift. Ramp down. Is that actually a ramp? That I could actually walk down? Look at that. More ammo. Hmm. But yeah, I'm a little curious how the linkages got over here. 